Good afternoon, tubers. Um, wasn't planning on doing a video on this, but it looks like I may need to. Uh, I guess we need to do a little tomato care video. Um, you don't get tomatoes like that. Uh, really by ignoring them, uh, the plants in Tennessee. <laughs> I don't know about anywhere else, but here we have problems with... Uh, these guys that's a tomato hornworm and we found him on the tomatillo uh, Daniel found one yesterday on a cucumber plant but those are right over there by the uh, the tomatoes anyway so it could have come off of the tomato plant he was over there picking cucumbers could have fell on him or whatever but this guy is going to be lunch for one of these gals. Come here, girls. Get it. One tomato home warm. Gone. Alright, well, we're going to uh, treat these plants. I have a, a organic powder uh, that uh, you sprinkle on them. I'll show you that in just a minute. Alright, tubers. This is the stuff. It's called dipple dust. Basically, um, this is just a BT powder. It's a bacteria that uh, I sprinkle on the plant itself. And um, what it does is the uh, it, it doesn't affect the plant at all. In fact, it does nothing to the plant whatsoever. Uh, it just uh, coats the leaves to where um, when the caterpillar or the hornworm in this case eats the leaf the bacteria uh, from the BT uh, is ingested by the caterpillar and it stops feeding and basically it starves to death and falls off the plant so this is what I've done I've just taken it and just kind of sprinkled it on the plants and uh, trying to eliminate those little critters because I hate them and I found out that this stuff where it really works I lost pretty much lost my entire tomato crop last season to um, hornworm we have such a huge problem here but anyway uh, that's what we've done today I've also got uh, some harvesting I've been doing I've been pulling up some purple hole peas uh, not pulling them up picking them and uh, we've got some tomatoes that we've been picking. I also went in and fed uh, my tomato plants with some um, Epsom salt water because I've run into some blossom end rot. And um, I think maybe uh, I just didn't give them enough. I've been sprinkling it around the bottom, but this time I just mixed it with the water and uh, fed the root system uh, slowly so that it seeped into the the soil around it and didn't run off anyway that's what we're doing we'll talk to you later all right well I'm back and I wanted to show you some of uh, what we've been picking uh, this is from the harvest today we pulled uh, picked about uh, looks like about two four six seven Tomatoes, mostly Rutgers, and it looks like we have a uh, Roma in there as well. And I also wanted to close by showing you this guy. Y'all remember him? He's a week old. Well, he's older than that, but he's been in that pot for a week. I, that's the sucker that I just stuck in the dirt. Uh, I just want to make sure y'all understand. Uh, I don't know that I made it clear enough, but uh, when you put it in the dirt, you got to keep it got to keep it wet um, it's just not going to set up if you don't keep it wet it'll wilt it'll look puny for a while and then she'll stand up tall actually uh, yesterday she began to really perk up so anyway that's uh that's our tomato sucker plant that we planted last week in the sucker video all right well y'all just wanted to give you a little follow-up on that uh, where we're at and uh, y'all have a great week and uh, go play in the dirt 
God bless.